Hello indie game fan, more awesome upcoming games from PAX West, beginning with Slave Zero X, a stylish action platformer set in a biopunk world and shares the universe with the mech shooter Slave Zero from 1999 with slick, almost Devil May Cry style combat in this. I've had my eye on Luna Lux for the longest of time since this pixel art JRPG looks wonderful, having a combat system that's slightly different from the genre staples, where it appears that it got somewhat of a visual overhaul since we last took a look. I love my farming sims, so of course, one lonely outpost has my attention. A sci-fi entry set on an alien planet, where you have the choice to go all natural or to genetically modify your crops and animals, with this new trailer showing off overhauled graphics as well. The cinematic puzzle adventure game Planet of Lana sure looks to be evoking titles like Inside or Limbo, but obviously much more vibrant visually, but this new trailer shows off parts of the gameplay and the biomes that you will encounter, being one of the prettiest games in development. A cute looking management sim is Poopoo's Adventure Park, where you help these slime-like creatures manage their playground, which is rented from Dark Goblins, looking like a cute but tense game as well.
I love the classic Zelda-style action-adventure title, of which Shrine's Legacy is doing an amazing job of emulating, with elemental magic and an epic world-saving story, as is genre convention, where there is even corp support and looks very promising. The survival horror title Signalis stood out due to the visuals resembling a PS1 title like Resident Evil 1, where this is releasing next month, so check out the demo if you're at the show. strongest feeling of all. But what would happen if someone tried to take this feeling away from you? What would you do for the one you love the most? Another channel favourite is Sons of Valhalla, a side-scrolling action strategy title that has a Norse theme with some of the most amazing pixel art that I have seen. A cozy looking adventure game is Spirit of Midnight, where you play as a cat who can leave the home, encountering a host of woodland creatures and a mysterious spirit looking very adorable.
You know the drill by now. Sprawl looks heavily inspired by the old school boomer shooters, but is not aping that art style one is to one, looking like a slick all action entry. ago, we thought we had contained the corruption on Earth. We were wrong. The corruption has reached the colonies. If we don't stop it, humanity will have nowhere to hide. I love my action RPGs, so of course, Superfuse is of interest. One that takes place in a world where superpowers are controlled by the elite, with plenty of grotesque enemies to battle against. With great power, well, <laughs> you know the rest. Publisher Fear Damage is relatively new to the scene but are super specialized in horror games where Terror Endless Night is one such title, a choose your own adventure game where your crew sets out into the cold to search for missing ships where dwindling supplies will force you to make tough decisions. The Brew Barons is an interesting looking management sim where you battle sky pirates for the right to sell your own brews to the region, looking like an interesting combination of genres. The Courier is an amazing looking open world exploration title where you run a mail delivery service on an island looking very pleasant and cozy. The American illicit drugs market is the biggest in the world. Look for lost police patrols. Drug barons control the multi-billion dollar empire, and Miami is cocaine city. Okay, Night Shift just cleared the building. You've got 60 minutes to log into that cartel terminal and uncover as much of their network as you can. Vice Undercover is a meta adventure game that takes place on the desktop of a cartel's computer where you need to infiltrate to get the damning evidence while not getting caught, with a fantastically done 1980s setting as well. Keep their deadly business open 
The American government has been carrying out the world's biggest anti-drugs operation as Western demand for the drug almost exceeds the supply. Special police squads use intelligence reports and, more often than not, their instincts in their search for cartel smugglers. Despite law enforcement's best efforts, greater things are expected. One of the night shift guys just came back. Looks like he's headed your way. Get out of there. This case is blown. Meet me back at the station. Witch Spring R is a JRPG about a witch living in the woods, where this is a remaster of some mobile games from 2018 and looks pretty good. Like the Wandering Village covered not too long ago, World Turtles is a city builder set on the back of a giant animal, this time a turtle floating in space, where it looks more chill without direct combat, but there are still push tractors that you need to consider. Let's get building! The next great legend of wrestling. From humble beginnings to the electrifying figure, taking the world by storm. Wrestle Quest is a pro wrestling themed JRPG that looks neat, where I hope that the developers don't get slapped with a cease and desist due to the likenesses used. He's here and ready to make his mark on history, facing legendary challenges. The biggest name in town. The man who draws a crowd wherever he goes. The rising star that everyone wants to know. An unstoppable, insurmountable, high-flying behemoth in the ring. Unbelievable! He's bringing out moves we've never seen before. Wow! Can you believe it? One! Two! Three! Oh yeah! Wrap your tights! It's time for WrestleFast! Mm -hmm. 
This one's for CRPG fans since Zoria Age of Shattering looks exactly like one of those, a party based RPG with tactical combat, where we have had a good run of these recently and I hope that it will continue the trend. I just received the announcement that Shovel Knight Dig will be releasing in September just a few days ago, so here it is, where it's a roguelite platformer that sees the blue burrower doing what he does best, digging through the earth for treasure, but my only concern is that this is designed with mobile in mind, although it is meant for Apple Arcade and should not have microtransactions. Yes, indeed. It is called Nostalgia. Where the No, no story. This is the gameplay trailer. The last hero of Nostalgia is a satirical 4-4 breaking Souls-like RPG, where I hope you can get a feel for the tone of the game with this trailer. Terrifying and perilous bosses. Fight together and die together. Let me regale you with a tale of corruption, greed, and heroism. Nostalgia's memories had flattened like books without pages. Enter the hero. Pixels were the problem. We can fix this. Customize them. Pick a class. You are not worthy. Level up. Perfect! Oh, you'll need equipment. Others can guide you. Side quests. Really get stuck in with this hero business. Danger absolutely everywhere. I am trained. All of this and much, much more is coming soon! Wishlist, the last hero of Nostalgia, and defy all my expectations. See? You are the hero! We're looking for hands-on management type industry rock stars, hungry to disrupt the dominant paradigms of intra-office upward mobility. Are you a team player? Ready to join our success-oriented thought leaders in open collaboration? A newly announced title is Stick It to the Stickman, a roguelite beat-em-up title from developer Free Lives, makers of Broforce. Genital jousting and gone. But they have not one or two, but three in development titles simultaneously with this Angerfoot and Terra Nil. We have no idea how they do it, but with the Volvo's backing, should have the resources needed to get all of these new and polished to an excellent the social media sphere, willing to work in undisclosed, unpaid, uncredited entry-level positions from now throughout the universe in perpetuity until your very last breath. <laughs> Stick it to the man. 
Yacht Club Games goes 2 for 2 in this video with Nina the Hollower, a top-down action-adventure title that had a hugely successful Kickstarter campaign, which was no surprise given their track record with Shovel Knight, where in my opinion, this is to old-school Zelda games as Shovel Knight was to Mega Man games and is truly one of the games that I'm most excited about. Moonscars needs no further introduction, since this grimdark 2D Souls-like has made an impact ever since it was revealed, where it releases at the end of the month, so do give the demo a try, and for more PAX West coverage, watch part 1 right here. <laughs> 